he does outplay them, and he does do a great job. Um, and he is a fantastic player. You know, what else is interesting? You know, we got to talk about Hamiljo in a little bit, but right now we have to talk oh, about... Oh, I got my wish. Thank you, Infinity. We got to talk about two folks over here. We got <laughs> yes. M versus Zale. So one thing that's really interesting is that we can always find M at the uh, over Zale's events that Zale throws. Yes. So it's interesting because both of these players kind of are familiar with each other. They yeah, know each absolutely. other's play styles before. Last time I saw, I played with M, he was actually playing as uh, Ivysaur, but it mm -hmm. seems like he's making the switch now to Game to Watch potentially. Interesting. Ooh, I like that. All right, cool. People are fine starting to figure out how broken this character is. Let's go. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> I don't mean it. Definitely no. not broken. No, right? he's not broken, but he's he's got some very good things in neutral. Oh, yeah. I think he has some great things in neutral, and he has a great approach, a great forward air, um, and great down tilt, like ridiculously good down tilt. And definitely one of the things to watch out for is just the various options that Game Watch has to really trip up Luigi's Luigi's movement options, and that's one thing that Zale is definitely very proficient at is his movement. movement. His yeah. movement is just so slick and it so is solid. Off the charts, this guy, this guy knows stages like left and right. You know, he knows every inch of them. Ooh. His approaches just from coming back onto, like, watch him as he'll come back onto the stage. He'll come on and do a fantastic wave dash and cover so much ground so quickly. Uh, so that's that's something to be aware of with him is that he Luigi has his hard times, but Zale does a great job of making up for it and almost making him look like a ridiculously overpowered character. There's um, he abuses a great neutral air uh, and he has a great backer that will help him out in a lot of tough spots and end stocks just like this. Yep, there was that backer that you were talking about, but once again, Game Watch's phenomenal recovery comes into play, Woo! but Zale is able to close that out relatively quickly afterwards. The slap shopping. So, so one thing to definitely think about as far as this match goes is it's going to be a match where Zale is going to have to bait out M to throw out some attacks. Yes. And uh, right after that, he's going to come in quick with the wave dashes with that long wave dash range that Luigi has, yes. and then he's going to just try and start those combos because one other thing that Zale has, in addition to his great movement and great recovery, mm. is his combo game. We've seen this man do some phenomenal stuff against, uh, you know, the, the last combo that I really saw him pull off that was really great was against Luck. He was down four stocks to one, and he ends up bringing it back because of how solid his combo <laughs> yeah. game is. Ridiculous. Fantastic. He does, he does some great work. Um, but M so far, I like the spacing that I've seen from him. Uh, he has great answers in the face of danger, just like he did right there, um, and knows when to press a button. Uh, unfortunately, catches uh, catches the boot there and gets sent off. But let's see how he approaches, comes back, and tries to finish the stock, because you do have Zale at about 100, and it is within uh, finishing percentage. And one thing Zale's doing really well is really just mixing up the various ways that he gets in. Sure, he does his, he goes for the bread and butter wave dash co combo starters, but there, yeah. for example, it was a wave land into a back air. Yep. Before that, he just did a ju it. jump and a, and a short, uh, quick neutral air. Yeah. You know, and he's do just doing a good job really mixing it up, and that makes it hard for M to really stuff some of the approaches just because he's he doesn't exactly know where the attack is going to be coming from. Yeah, you're right. And if, if it was very obvious to the point where you you saw he was going to be approaching on the ground, um, you could just simply use uh, stand neutral because Fumigation has a great range on it and a very long hitbox. Um, and it has a tons of priority, so it can stuff things out very quickly. Um, but... Oh! Ooh, that pole put in pop combo! Catches the misfire with that pizza box. That was some solid Ooh. awareness there by M. God! M. M right now definitely has a uh, quite quite the gap to close, but he's doing a pretty solid job so far. Oh, yeah. Already has Zale at 61%, but Zale is just so sneaky with some of his options. For sure. He's so quick sneaky. to come back. He has uh, a lot of... Uh, he Whenever he, he feels like he's uh, going to finish it off, look for the forward air. That slap chop is really ridiculous. Um, but if you feel like he's trying to just push them out just a little bit. Ooh, misfire. misfire. Comes back on. Jumps on with the slap chop. Back air. <laughs> Infinity's saying it's not a real win unless he wins with an up B. <laughs> All right, so uh, right there, that was a draw because he did not win with an up B. Now uh, we're jokes. We're no, joking. we're kidding. Zale we got takes jokes. that first match. Yes, and solid play from this man who won fourth place at Belgium's Revenge. Yeah, it was his first tournament in a couple of months. Just shows up, starts taking people out left and right. God. Honestly, I'm really excited to have him back. Yeah. His Luigi is just so much fun to watch. And I'm really hoping that he really just turns it on in this next match. Oh, for sure. Because one thing that, that we can kind of notice is even though these players play each other a lot, mm -hmm. he's starting to kind of just recognize some of the patterns that yeah. M has, right? And you can see some of the adjustments. That's why the beginning of the match was so much closer than the end of it when Zale started figuring things out. See, right there, he 
thought he figured out some of the uh, patterns in regards to how often M throws those down tilts. Yeah. Waits for it and punishes it perfectly with a tornado. Yes. Ooh, edge beats. guard opportunity here. Game Watch does have that great recovery. Nah. Not enough this time. Okay. Back at neutral. We use it. Uh, so who's going to first? Exactly what you're talking about. He just slides backwards, waiting for him to put out some buttons. He was hoping for a dash attack there so he could punish him. Great tip out. throw there. Oh, coming back up. Ooh. Solid neutral. I would have. Oh, is he going to come back? Yes. This is where edge play gets a little bit uh, tricky between these two. Uh, yeah. They both have a good vertical recovery, um, but it's, it's tricky when it comes to actually fighting out someone for that edge. Great up tilt. Definitely these are both smash. characters who are difficult to edge guard just because of all the mix-ups and whatnot. Ooh, great, great trade there for Zale. Not so great for him. Yo, the crowd calling for Game & Watch. The crowd is confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> that or they're just like the most loyal fans of all time. You know, they're not for those sure. bandwagoner fans. Okay. Wave dash approach. No? There it is. Oh, oh wow. He yeah. hits him with a tilt, but unfortunately he gets caught by his own frying pan pieces. That sucks. Woo. All right. You're chasing him off the edge. Now, this is what I want to see from more from M, is I want to see more aggression. I want to see him finish these stocks off very, uh, you know, solidly. Whenever you have, uh, you know, Luigi that far down, uh, in near the blast zones, towards the bottom, and maybe further out, Follow him over that forward air, push him that far out. Just takes one hit, needs to be well spaced. But you can come back because your game and watch you have a very good diagonal recovery, you can get back just as easily. That being said, Zale's recovery is one of the things that he was definitely working on, and it's just always on point. And uh, it's gonna, definitely going to be really tricky for, uh, for him to get some of those gimp kills that he's looking for, especially against a character like Luigi and against a player like Zale. Oh, coming back in. Good jump neutral. This is, look at that Oki. Ooh, so sick. Interesting, you use the key to negate the fireball. Oh! And fire. But that was some good stuff there, canceling so quickly with that oh. parachute. <laughs> Somehow makes it back on stage. Yo, I don't think y'all understand like how sick that was. He oh. did like that Michael Jackson footwork and then came back and just decked him. That was really good. Ooh, but unfortunately, a lack of DI there results in Zale taking that fairly convincingly. Yeah, man. Zale did great that time, but you know, M, no slouch. M, no slouch. No, for sure.